Hi folks, this is uh, Joshua Stefan from the Gypsy Guitar Academy. A lot of people asked me why I use uh, different guitars in the different videos. So often I play a D whole version like this. And sometimes an oval whole Gypsy swing guitar. And now we want to tell you what are the difference between these two models. This guitar type is known today as a Django Reinhardt guitar. The original D-Hall model was invented and designed by Mario Maccaferri in the 30s. And to produce these guitars, he found his business partner in the Selma company. So the only available gypsy guitar in the 30s was of course the Selma. The biggest difference between the D hole and the later O hole version was the body that begins at the 12th fret. Today's replicas, like mine, are available with the same scale length as the O hole version. Personally, I enjoy the full and warm sound of my D hole guitar because I can cover different styles of jazz music with that versatile instrument. Because of that reason, a lot of soloists play in D hole guitars today. Obviously, the construction and sound of both guitars is still different. After Mario Maccaferri's separation from the Selma company, they discontinued the D-Hall model and produced a new O-Hall Gypsy guitar. They changed the sound hole to create a louder and more aggressive tone. And because of their knowledge in producing brass instruments, they wanted to adapt this technique to their new guitar design. This time the body started at the 14th fret. In my opinion back then this was of course the better choice for a soloist and Django used this type of guitar to most of his recordings. Personally I think the O-hole guitar sounds a bit more traditional than the D-hole version, so in general it's just a matter of taste. As you see, I love both uh, styles, the D-hole and the O-hole version, so I can't give 100% uh, advice what to choose, but uh, the advice that I can give you is to have a look on the internet. There are some dealers who are specialized in gypsy jazz guitars, and of course, they have a lot of instruments in their stock, so you can go there and uh, you can check them out and you will find, of course, the instrument that fits to your belongings. But uh, don't forget about all the great lessons that here are online. So first of all, practice and then go and buy your new gypsy guitar. Thank mm -hmm. you.